Hey everybody, what's happening? How you doing? Everything okay? Great. Um, I have made some pretty good mistakes this year. One of them was losing, not losing, misplacing one of my uh, really good interviews. Thank you. You know, uh, when you get old, you start losing stuff. I mean, you know, you're losing my mind. I think my mind is going to be next. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've looked and looked and looked for this thing and I was just about to scream and then I found it so it's old footage probably not the best video quality but hey what can I say here we go Bob Wilson garage coming at you next this guy's got a garage like a museum you should see this place he has 13 cars watch this here we go hey everybody crazy Craig Dales coming to you from a Riverside in the practice room yeah that's right the practice room oh hey <laughs> that's where I practice can you imagine and brought to you by Porta Tree and speaking of brought to you by Chris Norris Triple C agency that is the man you need to talk to if you have a collector car or a race car oh this is the man to talk to about insurance coverage his rates are reasonable and when you take your car out of town stay at a hotel you have peace of mind that is very important peace of mind all right today earlier today we went over to Bob Wilson's garage now this is just a friend with a residence and he has not one not five not ten but 13 cars each one of them very unique in uh, its own way you gotta see this this is Bob Wilson in a garage and we're covering his 1949 Packard hey YouTube what's happening you got crazy Craig here we're over at Bob Wilson's garage check this place out how you doing, Bob? Doing well. It's All right. So what we have, what you uh, heard through the grapevine, you just purchased a 1949 Packard. One of your how many cars? Uh, 13. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is number 13. Tell me a little bit about the car, if you would. Yes, it's a uh, 22nd series car. It's the uh, actually it's the bottom of the line. Uh, it's a eight deluxe, not the uh, super and not the custom. But I like it. I like the lines on it. Uh, it was a pretty good restoration, and it had a fairly good price too. So, so you got it online. Tell me a little bit about the people that you bought it from. Uh, Meekum was having an auction. Meekum, they are uh, an auction house in uh, back east, and they have auctions all over the country. Okay. And. Uh, they were having a, an auction in Denver, and so I registered, got online, they called me, said your car's coming up, ready to bid, and I said yes. And so I was an online bidder. Online bidder. Hmm. So then this, you, you started this venture in? April of this year, trying to track it down, and finally found out that it was a uh, one family car out of Montana. You're the second owner. Well, in, unless you call the guy that consigned it an owner, because he did have it in Iowa, and then uh, it went from Iowa to uh, Colorado, Denver, for the auction. Now, uh, how many miles did you tell me were on this car? 29,000. Original miles. Original miles on it. <laughs> and this is a straight eight, correct? Yes, it is. 388 cubic inches, 130 horsepower. Listen to him. He's a freaking encyclopedia, I'm telling you. Okay, what are the questions do I have? Um, well, you drive this uh, daily or once a week? It or? will be a daily driver as soon as I get it uh, legal. Ah. That is registered. Le legal is nice, yes, I understand that. And can I just point out one thing? Because sure. Because it's always asked. The hood ornament. Is it a pelican or is it a cormorant? Well, I'll let your viewers determine that. Is it That's a your pelican? Viewers. Pelican? Or? Cormorant. Cormorant, all right. The viewer that gets that right subscribes. Yes, subscribe. And puts down a comment and rings the bell. Hey, you get a free t-shirt, okay? Tell us what that is, either a cormorant, pel cormorant or, or pelican. Or pelican, did you get that? Okay. And you'll have to identify what year it went from what to what. Wow, he's making it tough. Uh, from what year it went from Pelican, Pelican to, to Cormorant. Cormorant? Or else Cormorant to Pelican? No, it went from Pelican to Cormorant. Okay. Cormorant sounded more sophisticated. It does have a nice little classy ring to it. Yes, it does. It? Pelican kind of reminds you of uh, the beach. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. 
Okay, well, we're going to cut this off now. We're again, once again, this is Bob Wilson with his 13 cars. We're going to be hitting up uh, each one of them probably once or twice a month. We don't know yet, but uh, thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank right, you, Craig. See you again. All right. Crazy Craig, got to go. Yeah, baby. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And there will be one of those each, oh, I don't know, once a month. How's that? Sound good? So if you would, please subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, hey, ring that bell, baby. Yeah, baby. I got to go. Yeah, would you? <laughs> you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, baby. Oh, my God. It doesn't get much better than that. Don't think that it does. I got to go. <laughs> Take five. I need lunch. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take two because I didn't have the microphone on. Look at the camera. Hey everybody, Crazy Craig here in the practice room once again, of course. You see my little friend here? Yeah. I'm just monkeying around. Oh god. You did not just say that, I did. Take three, what the